Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And I want to talk to you guys today about this particular question. About fill what are five great ways to fill up your sketchbooks? This is a fantastic question and I've got the answer because Lord knows I can legit have I'm staring at about maybe a good 30 sketchbooks from my past and that's not even the ones that I have out in storage these are the ones that I need for like to go back to but I keep every single one of my sketchbooks now what's the best way to actually fill up your sketchbooks let's start with my little moleskin right here and I already know that I've actually showed the sketchbook to you guys in a sketchbook tour, but here's a great way to actually fill up your sketchbook. One is if you are inspired by an original character idea that all of a sudden pops up into your head, doodle it out. It could be that you're in the shower and you have this amazing idea and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to doodle this. Grab your iPhone immediately, go to your notes section in your phone. If you don't have an iPhone, then you have a notes section, some kind of app and write it down. That way you come back to it and you doodle it out. Or make a list in the back of your sketchbook and say what you're gonna draw. Look, I have list, all of these amazing lists everywhere. I have list every, all over my sketchbooks to tell me I wanna draw this next. If you have an original character idea, it doesn't matter if it's good or not, doodle it out because it's there as a reference for you to go back into the future. Another thing is, if you are inspired by movies or a TV show, make sure you doodle it out. Because if you're inspired, this is a way for you to practice your own style. Obviously, they have been illustrated before, but this was inspired by the Netflix series of unfortunate events. So I get to draw the Baudelaire orphans out in my own style and Count Olaf in my own style. This is a way for you to be inspired. If you are reading a book, the best way to interpret characters is to draw them out. This is from Descendants too. It doesn't matter if it's good or not, just doodle it out because chances are it's gonna look amazing anyway. Another great tip for filling up your sketchbooks, the best way to practice your art style is to actually draw people that you know. This is my cousin Paul and this is my cousin Faith. Even though they don't look like any characters in real life that you see on the big movie screens, even though Faith has this Elsa looking hair, she doesn't look like Elsa, but she's done in my own style and it gives me a chance to create original characters based off of people I know, like Paul who is a photographer and Faith who was a pitcher in softball. They're my cousins, they love me drawing them, so they encourage it, and I'm sure if I based original characters off of them in a future comic, they would be super, super duper in love with me forever, and they would probably name their first child, their firstborns after me. Copying your favorite scenes from your favorite animated movies. This is, of course, a scene from an animated movie, and this is a scene from an animated short. So this is Paper Man. It's a great, the reason why I encourage you to copy stills from your favorite movies is because when you're copying actual people, you're starting to see, the more you copy, the more you start to see your style start to form just a little bit more. Like, I know Meg definitely doesn't look exactly like this, but it's kind of my style and the same as, I forgot his name, George. So George and Meg completely look different because they're done in my style, but I'm also looking at the scene that I wanted it in. It's just a way for you to look at something because the best thing is to draw from life, but if you're training yourself to look at a scene and doodle it out on paper, it's a great asset to have as a growing artist. Another great way is to use a sketchbook to transform from one style into another. This book, this sketchbook, I have kept for six years. This was from 2011 and this is when I originally decided I was going to switch from the anime style into Disney style. So as you can see, all of these are anime style. Okay, first thing first, this is a dream. So if you have some crazy whacked up dream, you doodle that because chances are it is going to be a great story in the future and you can use it for your big first animated motion picture. So as you can see, an anime style, anime style, Tim Burton, <laughs> uh, weird, oh, husband, and then, here we go. Here is the first official 
transformation from anime style to where I started to attend the Disney style. They're not perfect, but you know what? They're here. They are actually here. And I can see, oh my gosh, this is it. 2011, I decided that I was gonna transform my anime style into a Disney style. One more way is to test yourself and push yourself against your limits and try different ways on how to draw. See, this is an original sketch from a Hallmark Christmas movie because I love them. They hurt my heart, but I love them. <laughs> but it's so I decided to challenge myself to do these doodles. Drawing on tone tan paper challenges you, one, to push yourself into putting shadows and shading correctly from your light, your light sources, but it also challenges you to add in the highlights. So there are two different ways, and I was actually inspired by Draw With Jazza on this one because he challenged me. It's a fun way to sketch. It's a great sketchbook to have. This is from Hobby Lobby, it's great. And it challenges me to approach it so differently. Even though I was shading and everything in my regular white paged books, I didn't have to add any highlights. I just had to add shadows. So I love adding highlights with my white pencil and my white gel pen. So it's just a way to challenge yourself. And I'm challenging myself by drawing characters in my own original style. They're not in my original style, they're in their regular style. Sketchbooks are here to help us grow as artists. I suggest if you want to be a better artist, draw once a day. Sketch, doodle something out once a day because that's how you're going to fill up your sketchbooks, that's how you're going to grow as an artist, and that's how you challenge yourself as an artist. And originally, you discover your own style. That's how you're going to find it through your sketchbooks. So that's five ways on how to fill up your sketchbook. I hope this is helpful. As always, leave in the comments down below if you need advice on certain techniques or whatever you would like. I take suggestions all the time. Obviously, I did on this one. I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you have a most wonderful day. Bye!